हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ एफ आई वी कॉम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन अराइज ड्यू टू कोविड नाइनटीन वी आर नॉट एबल टू एंजॉय अवर रेगुलर मेथड ऑफ टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस बट ड्यू टू मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी वी कैन कंटिन्यू लर्निंग विथ इट so start our subject organizational skill development chapter 1 concept of modern office and topic modern office today we are going to learn concept of modern office characteristics of modern office importance of office management and functions of modern office concept of modern office introduction of modern office the economic of large scale production have brought into a number of multinational businesses organizations all these problems can be satisfactorily tackled only when adequate information is available information is required by all the members of an enterprise definition offices describe as the nerve center of the entire organization office is like a main spring of the businesses and it consider as the part of the business organization the first definition george r terry the act of collecting processing storing and distributing information comprise the functions of the office second definition an office is the place where work in connection with the preparing and furnishing of information is done it may be said that an office refers to the functions performed by a certain set of persons rather than the place where clerical work is done the act of collecting processing storing and distributing information of an office in this slide now we will discuss characteristics of modern office office is an important segment of modern businesses it is the nerve center or a brain of a business organization the first point is information center office is an information center or data bank of an organization all kinds of information required for planning and control is furnished by the office to the managing director or the executives office is a place where all type of information is stored and handled it is called as the information center of the organization thereafter next point is communication exchange office is the exchange through which written communication move from top to bottom and in the reverse order also next point is policy center office is the place at which major object and policies of the business are determined 
Then, business policies are determined by the executives. For example, purchase policy, sales policy, credit policy, and advertising policy, etc. Next point is coordination. A well organized office makes it possible for the management to coordinate all the activities of the business. Office can be called as the coordinator of activities of various persons and group working for the organization. Thereafter, next point is managerial control. Control consists of verifying whether everything occurs in conformity with the plans adopted and principles established. Thus, control cannot be operated without office. Timely and reliable information is provided by the office to the management. Next point is Correspondence Center. Correspondence has special importance in modern business. It is an important function of an office. Inward and outward mail is also handled by an office. Inward mail is sorted and sent to the respective departments. Success of the business depends upon prompt and proper correspondence. Next point is Custody of Records. Office is a safe custody of important papers, documents, records, and correspondence, whether in hard copy or soft copy with the help of computers. Inward letters are properly filled at the office. Copies of outward letter are also properly filled for the future reference. So, these were the various points of characteristics of modern office. In this slide, now we will discuss importance of office management. The first importance of office management is office renders valuable services to all other departments. Often an op office is referred to as the service department. Important services provided by the office include clerical and other services to other departments, divisions, sections, and many more of the organization. Second point is office as an information center. Office is the information center of a business as such office is the brain of the organization. Third point is office as a coordinator. Office aids management to bring about the coordination. The processing of information in an office is as under. First point, communication. Office provides essential record and communication services. Communication of correspondence is done through the office. Second is store of records. The office keeps up-to-date records of the business institution. It is the source of information for conducting 
directing and controlling the business activities. Next point is office as an administrative nerve center. An office is the heart of all business activities. Here, information on purchase, sales, finance, and communication gets circulated. Last point is, office as control center. It is the medium for translating the policies into action. When the business grows, different departments come up with different jobs to be done. Departmental head have delegated power with which takes action and decision. So, these were the various points of importance of office management. Functions of modern office Main point is routine functions. First point is receipt of incoming information. The modern office receives the incoming information. In fact, all the letters, faxes, emails, and telephone calls have to be made to the office by the outsiders. A separate register is maintained to record the detail of all incoming correspondence. Telephone call register or data is collected into computer is maintained to record all inquiries. It facilities timely feedback. Second point is directing the incoming information. The incoming information may be meant for a particular department. Information is directed by the office towards it's due to the person who is authorized to receive this information. Thereafter, next point is creating necessary information. Some information like the office expenses, budgets, and other reports are required by the management. So, that they can make prompt and effective decision. This information is created by the office. Next point is keeping a record of outgoing correspondence. In the office, all the outgoing correspondence is properly numbered and dated. Separate record register where the entire details of the outgoing records have to be maintained by an office clerk. Next point is recording that information on some media. Information which is meant purely for the office is recorded or filled. Information may be stored as a hard copy on paper or soft copy on electronic media. Next point is analyzing and interpreting the information. The information is analyzed and interpreted in such a manner that it would be easily understood by the person who is entitled to receive it. Next point is sorting of information. 
द इनकमिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन नीड्स टू बी सॉर्टेड अ नंबर ऑफ लेटर्स ईमेल्स आर सेंट रिगार्डिंग वेरियस इश्यूज टू एन ऑफिस a person sort the information to avoid confusion next point is presenting of useful information information which has been properly analyzed and sorted is properly formatted all the unnecessary information that is not required and is not considered management and administrative functions <clears throat> first point is keeping a record of the asset and protecting them a detailed record of the asset like cars building and machinery is maintained at the office an office contains a safe where all the fixed deposit receipts investment certificates and property papers are kept safely second point is customer relationship management most of the communication to the customers and clients takes place through the office customers records including the details of their order dispatch dates their balance etc they are maintained by the office office is responsible to manage a good relationship with the customer and treat all the customers with a lot of respect next point is providing useful information to the investors the companies act has given the powers to receive certain information from the registered office office which helps the business to stay away from any of the provision of the act by providing useful information to the investors whenever required office management task of planning organizing controlling coordinating budgeting and motivation there are leaders in an office who is motivate a manager plans the office activities and delegates the work office expenses have to be recorded and must be compared with budgeted figures next point is forms design and control forms like new application form overtime form etc are designed in the office a control over their supply is also maintained by the modern office next point is stationary supply and control stationary purchases are also done at the office level a lot of clerical work is involved load of paper and computer stationery 
such as Xerox toners, printer ink, etc. are continuously required for office work. Next point is purchase of office furniture and equipment. Office contains participation of various staff, employees, customers and others. And last point is function of modern office is recruiting, training, placement and remuneration. A good and able staff is an asset for the organization. So, these were the various points of functions of modern office. I hope all of you must have understood these points of function of modern office. Thank you.